I'm always looking for some way of doing something purposeful with my time. Greg McPhee has joined a large group of volunteers, many of them Rotarians, who are sorting through used shoes. It's a fundraiser that's quickly grown in popularity. Souls for Souls is trying to change the world one pair of shoes at a time. Jim Belshaw launched the project in 2010 with a modest goal. thought we could collect three or 4,000 pairs of shoes. We collected 45,000 pairs of shoes in, in a month. Uh, we, we did it again last year. We collected 65,000 pairs of shoes. And it's just something very simple that everybody can get involved in because everybody's got a pair of shoes in their wardrobe that they haven't worn and uh, they just donate them to Souls for Souls and they get another life. Each one of these boxes holds about 500 pairs of shoes from running shoes to work boots like steel toes, hiking boots and winter boots. Uh, something for the ladies in the evening, soccer cleats for the kids possibly in South America and even from Vancouver a large collection of brand new running shoes. We've had a number of manufacturers and uh, from right across Canada phone and say Jim I've got you know three or four hundred pairs of brand new running shoes that uh, we don't want to release onto the market for whatever reason. Do you want them? Of course. We're getting stilettos of six inches tall and flip-flops and work boots so and they all help. We can find a home for 99.99% of, of everything that we bring in. Locals get first crack at these shoes. Last year 7,000 of the 60,000 pairs remained in the Okanagan and were distributed through agencies like the Gospel Mission, Now Canada and the Kelowna Women's Shelter. Locals get first dibs. As you saw, there's some really good shoes that come through here. Some brand new shoes, some great boots. Uh, so yeah, they, they get first dibs before everything's boxed up and, and sent off. The remaining shoes will be sent to Nevada before being sent to nations around the globe. And it's not just the countries that have suffered a natural disaster like Haiti, although earthquakes are indeed one of the prime examples of the need for footwear. For many people around the world, a pair of shoes can help them get an education or job and improve their health. If you've done any traveling anywhere, you'll notice people that, that uh, do labor in, uh, in flip-flops in a lot of these uh, third world countries and are subject to all kinds of, uh, if, if you hurt your foot or you hurt your leg, you don't get paid. So uh, all of these shoes can be put to, to good use. There's 300 million kids in this world with no, no shoes at all. And uh, in most of those uh, African countries, unless you have a pair of shoes on your feet, you can't go to school. And so this, this opens up so many doors, as well as keeping them healthy. There's so many diseases that are, are transmitted through the soles of your feet. This year, Souls for Souls has expanded to include Alberta, Ontario and Quebec. And Belshaw now has a lofty nationwide goal. Last year, we had a goal of raising a million pairs of shoes in BC in five years. I think we'll surpass that, that goal. But now our goal is a million pair of shoes in every province of Canada. April was the major campaign for gathering shoes, but you can still contribute. Check out soulsforsoulscanada.com to learn more or make a donation. Reporting from Kelowna, I'm Tim Morton for Shaw.